and I do believe that you couldn't hear properly and I do apologise for that. Um, but basically I was sharing with you about how Audrey's worked in the legal industry uh, of construction property and um, she was saying how she, the reason why she chose to work in, a, a, in this area is because it was of great interest to you, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, so basically um, she has qualifications in both law and construction and then she's one of these ones that are going to be, you said that you manage the team on site. Yes. That's I what did. she was saying, yeah. Yes, I managed a, a team of builders who we specialised in uh, loft conversions, extensions and uh, general refurbishments really. And um, I had to go in and make sure that the work's done, all the plastering is smooth and all that, everything. Is, is done to the client's satisfaction. Yeah. Definitely a woman of vision because you were saying that if you saw a derelict uh, building, it would, it would excite you because you could actually see how it could develop. Yes, I saw past what it looked like now and um, look to the future and see what it would be like. Yeah, yeah. So I was doing that all before all this uh, homes under the hammer sort of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. going in and, and making good yeah properties. I never knew, you know, I never knew at all. I thought, I imagined you just being behind the desk and doing the paperwork and maybe going to court every now and then, that sort of thing. I didn't realise that you were, you're quite hands-on, aren't you? Well, um, I grew up with six, I've got six brothers. Yes. And two sisters. Yeah. So um, with the brothers, um, I had to make sure that I could, uh, you know, handle myself really. Yeah. Even though my brothers treated us um, really well. Yes. But uh, still, uh, growing up with boys, I couldn't be like a shrinking violent. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. you were saying that you're the eldest of nine. And I'm, I was sort yes. of thinking, what a responsibility. Absolutely. That's why you Absolutely. are like you are. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And because um, I know that you said that uh, you went on to study, but you were saying that your mother passed on. Yeah, Sorry to hear. just as I finished um, my, my legal studies and before I just going to law school, uh, my mother had a heart attack mm. and she died and um, it left us all, we just couldn't believe it because mm. she's still relatively young. Mm. So I, um, I, I, I didn't go to law school, but yeah. I, I worked in the legal industry yes. and then um, I left it when my dad got a stroke and uh, started construction. Right, okay. So, but then did you go on to get the qualification yes. after some time yes. you did? Okay, because I can see here that you're also, you also have two sons. Yes. And so obviously while you were doing your uh, professional job, um, mm -hmm. you were raising up two sons. I mean, how, how did you cope? I coped because I, I've got a good um, support network around me. As I say, I've got my sisters and I've got my brothers mm. and um, family, cousins, and, mm. and also members Brilliant. of the church. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah. never alone. And yeah. my dad as well, he was he used to go and pick them up from school. And yeah, like oh that. my goodness, talking about the school run, and my, my goodness, it's only now I've stopped the school run after all these years, because mm. the younger one now is in year five, and she's actually taken herself to and from school, and it makes such a difference. It's, it's such a yeah, difference. definitely, definitely. And But your son's doing really well, because uh, they both studied music at university, and now both work in the entertainment field. Uh, one is in the theatre, uh, is, is a theatre producer um, at a community theatre in the West London, and the other son is in uh, music publishing management and deals with copyrights. So you've done well, haven't you? Well, really I well. tried, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I I tried. Think you, know, you know something, us mums, we have to pack, our, pack ourselves on the back. I'm sorry, but do you know what I mean? I know, we have to I do know. it. And we have to. We have to, and uh, we've got some great dads as well. We've know, got some brilliant dads out there, definitely so. Definitely, so. definitely so. Support. Yes, definitely so. So basically, um, I know that you, you said that you uh, attend a regular church. You said that you're a regular church goer, because uh, as with a lot of Caribbean um, people, uh, uh, as children, they're brought up going to Sunday school. I went to Sunday school as well. Mm -hmm. I, I totally, totally enjoy it. But you're saying that, um, you know, you actually still attend that same church. Is that correct? Yes, I, I, I grew up in, um, it's, a, it's called Refuge Temple. Right. And it's in Screxham. Yeah, yeah. And um, I started going, going there from when I was about 12. Yeah. And I still go. I stopped for a while. Yes. And then yeah. I went back. I yeah, yeah. stay away. Okay. And um, it's now, it's led now by uh, Bishop Dawes. Okay. And uh, supported by um, Assistant Pastor L, um, Gordon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon. Yeah. 
and it's it's really um, a, a nice place to be. It's comforting. It's welcoming. Yeah, people are loving, mm. and I just enjoy going. That's really good. And you never thought thought of maybe branching out and, and going somewhere else. Um, when I stopped going to refuge, I did try to go somewhere else. Yeah. but I I I refuge. Temple that's, 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 yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play some Elton John. Are you ready? Are you ready for love? And then, uh, you know something, Orgy's given me sort of like, a, 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 I've got a great number of shout outs to do, you know. So <laughs> what we do is play, we'll play some Elton John. Um, are you ready for love? I'll do a few shout outs and then we'll uh, see what else, uh, you know, Orgy has achieved or what she wants to achieve in the future.